Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65. And we want to find the value of m. So now for our solution here. We're going to start with our equation, 3 to the power of m minus 2 to the power of m is equal to 65. And now 3 to the power of m, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. Minus now 2 to the power of m, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. And 2 over 2, that's the same thing as 1. So it's the same thing as 3 to the power of m to the power of 1, which is the same thing as 3 to the power of m. Same thing for 2 to the power of m. 2, to the, 2 over 2 is 1, so this is the same thing as 2 to the power of m to the power of 1, which is the same thing as simply just 2 to the power of m. So now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2, this would equal 3 to the power of m times 2 over 2 minus 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to 65. Now, m times 2 over 2, that is equal to 2m over 2. So I have this minus 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2 is equal to 65. Now, this is the same thing with 2 to the power of m to the power of 2 over 2. I have 2 to the power of 2m over 2, or this is actually m times 2 over 2. And then now... 3 to the power of 2m over 2 minus 2m times 2 over 2, which is 2m over 2, is equal to 65. Now remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n, right? And m and n here, these two are interchangeable, meaning m times n this can also equal a to the power of n times m, because for multiplication, order doesn't matter. So meaning, if these two are the same, that means that this is also equal to a to the power of n to the power of m, right? Meaning a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So right here, I have m times 2 over 2, so we could actually rewrite this as 3 to the power of m over 2 to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of m over 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 65. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the variable x equal 3 to the power of m over 2. And I'm also going to let the variable y equal 2 to the power of m over 2. Okay, so now that we have that, now if I substitute in x for 3 to the power of m over 2, and y for 2 to the power of m over 2, I get x squared minus y squared is equal to 65. Now, if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is actually equal to a plus b times a minus b. And this is actually a very important property of algebra. So for x squared minus y squared, this is obviously equal to x plus y times x minus y. 
which is equal to 65. Now 65, this is equal to 13 times 5, right? So now, because we have x plus y times x minus y is equal to 13 times 5, we can think of x plus y as 13 and x minus y as 5. So this is essentially 13 times 5 is equal to 13 times 5, meaning we could say that x plus y here, this is equal to 13, and we can also say that x minus y, this is equal to 5. So now here we have a system of equations. As you can see, we have two equations. This is equation one, this is equation two. And we want to find the values of both x and y. So to do this, we are going to add both of these equations. So if I add these equations, first off, x plus x, that's 2x. y minus y, these two cancel out, so I get plus 0 is equal to 13 plus 5 is 18. So this means 2x is equal to 18. And now if I divide both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 9. So now if x equals 9, I have to plug x into the system of equations to solve for y. So our original system equations was x plus y is equal to 13 and x minus y is equal to 5. So if x is equal to 9, then I'm going to start by plugging in x for 9 into our first equation, x plus 9 equals 13. So if I do that, I get 9 plus y is equal to 13. And now I can simply subtract 9 on both sides to get y is equal to 4, because 13 minus 9 is 4. Now for x minus y is equal to 5, I'm going to plug in both values and check. So now I have x, which is 9, plus y, which is 4. Or sorry, minus, this should be minus, minus 4 is equal to 5. And... 9 minus 4 is indeed 5, so I get 5 equals 5, so the values of x and y are true. So now, remember how we set x equal to 3 to the power of m over 2, and we set y equals 2 to the power of m over 2. So now, x, remember this is equal to 9, and y is equal to 5. Or sorry, sorry, y is equal to 4. So now I have 9 is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2. And 9 here, this is the same thing as 3 squared, so I get 3 squared is equal to 3 to the power of m over 2, meaning 2 is equal to m over 2, and m is equal to 4. Now let's check with the other one. We have... 4 is equal to 2 to the power of m over 2. 4 is 2 squared, so I 2 squared is equal to 2 to the power of m over 2, meaning 2 is equal to m over 2, and 4 is equal to m once again. So the value of m here is 4. Mm -hmm.